okay. Welcome to the show. Welcome to Stubbs. I'm your host, Mark Sopranos. We're so glad you could be here that we actually invited people down to watch the show to make it an even more pleasant experience for you at home. We've got two guys. We've sent them on dates with the same three women. Now, the two guys are locked up outside in a, in a very diabolical torture device that we've designed just for the show. The women are over here. Let's go talk to them about the guys. They're right over here. Okay. Virginia Schmidt, a 25-year-old artist. Welcome to the show, Virginia. Thank you very much. What's our artist? Fine artist, architecture drawing. Okay, all right, glad to have you here. Okay. Stephanie Bradley, a 20-year-old showroom model. Uh -huh. Welcome to the show. <laughs> Cheryl Deline, a 22-year-old legal secretary. Welcome to the show, Cheryl. <laughs> Sherilyn, how would you describe your ultimate guy? Um. Tall, dark, strong in the mind and the body. Really? Okay. You're a showroom model, Stephanie? Yes. You, well, have you ever met your perfect guy? Have you met him yet, you think? Um, no, I haven't met my dream guy yet. Well, then, how do you know? What would he be like? Well, he's got to be funny and artistic and have mysterious eyes. All right. How about you, Virginia? Who's your perfect guy? Oh, somebody that's honest sensitive but most of all has a sense of humor you would have to with me important <laughs> very important right, well let's see how tonight's studs stack up shall we let's welcome peter and patrick will you? <laughs> peter how are you patrick good to see you all right peter corselli a 25 year old sales and welcome to the show peter thanks nice man. to have you here Armstrong, a musician. Welcome to the show, Patrick. Thank you very much. Nice man. to have you here. All right, guys. You know the deal. You've been, you've each been on dates with these three ladies. You should kind of, sort of know what they're thinking about you and about life in general by now, right? You're right. <laughs> All right. The guy who knows the most about the women will have the most hearts. The most hearts will make you king stud. And of course, if you're king stud, you get to go on an ultimate fantasy date that we pay for. Great. What a fabulous deal. Yeah. All right, we're Works. gonna start with you, Peter. Do you find it easy to talk to women on the phone? Uh, it's hard to put this much personality through such a little tiny line. Aww. Fiber optics, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You find that, uh, these women responded well to you on the phone? These ones here? Yeah. <laughs> uh, it, no. No? No. Okay. Well, yeah. we asked them what they thought of you from the phone conversation, and here's what they said. He was a laid-back good old boy, said one. <laughs> Second lady said, I was expecting Grizzly Adams. Oh. And the third lady said, you were boring as hell. Oh. Well. Well. So just tell me who said what, and we'll give you a heart, and we'll be on our way. Uh, let's see. <laughs> he was boring as hell. Virginia. Virginia? Oh, no. No. laid-back good old boy. Yeah? Yeah. Why'd you say that? Because we had a conversation about what we were going to do, and we were going to go two-stepping, so I think that was pretty laid-back. Uh-huh. That was nice. She blew. Yeah, I blew that Country one. boy is good? Oh, sure. Okay. Sure. Who, who did say he was boring as hell? Sherilyn! Why do you think he was boring just from the phone call? Well, I mean, the reason I said it was because um, when I first talked to him, he didn't have that much energy. It didn't seem like he was looking forward to going out, and, um, then later on, he had a lot more energy. He seemed like he was just primed and ready to go. So. Cocktails, baby. <laughs> <laughs> so he had a little change of heart there. All right, well, you didn't get a heart, though. Yeah, Sorry blew about it. that, Peter. Yeah. How about you, Patrick? Do you think uh, women find you attractive? I, I hope what, you know, people find attractive in me is not, you know, my exterior, it's my interior. That's really what I pride myself on. Okay. <laughs> we have the ladies, uh... The truth. We asked the ladies what they thought of when they first met you, just your exterior, you know, that, that, that first instant. And here's what they said. One lady said, I could have drowned in his eyes. <laughs> Second lady said, his sideburns really turned me on. <laughs> and the third lady said, eek, a unibrow. <laughs> okay. Huh? Got a lot of hair here. Yeah. A lot of hair everywhere. Okay, I'll, I'll take the eek. It's a unibrow. 
That was probably Virginia. Virginia? <laughs> yes, but it was one really nice eyebrow. There you, you know. go, the first time. You know, what a nice... He's got a little separation there between no, the eyebrows. Sorry, he has beautiful hey, eyes. Hey, you can always features. remove hair, you know. But if it goes on you... <laughs> I could have drowned in his I eyes, or his sideburns really turned me on. Sideburns? You should have seen him a couple of weeks ago. Um, anyhow, I could have drowned in his eyes. Um, I'll say Stephanie. No. Oh! I blew it. What'd you say, Stephanie? I said his sideburns really turned me on. You like guys in sideburns? Uh, like he said, they were longer a couple Elvis weeks burns? ago. Yeah. Well, no, not the wide ones, just the long ones. They're just, they're really sexy. Yeah. And he had them. Can I, can I get in on that last question, though? I think I can figure that. <laughs> no, we can't have that one. All right, stick around. When we come back. We're gonna find out more about our two studs. So don't go away. Bob's All You Can Eat Breakfast Bar. All this to choose from for just $3.99 weekdays. Stop on by. $3.99 is going to make your day. First, my wife insists on bringing me to this art thing. Then she says I should wear something nice. Fine. But I need to be comfortable when I'm appreciating art. So I wore this shirt and pants. She went nuts. Said they had great composition. Honey, this uh, art is clashing with my ensemble. We're not leaving. Levi's Dockers at Mervyn's for the clothes you love to live in. Californians encounter Pearl for most glasses in one hour and more. A sale on Ray-Ban sunglasses. Ray-Ban Aviator or Wayfarer sunglasses only $34.95. They guaranteed my satisfaction. I bought one pair of glasses, they gave me a second pair, both in one hour. Pearl Vision Express. Call 1-800-YES-EYES for locations. Ray-Ban sunglasses, only $34.95. Another free C&R service. Tailored slacks while you wait. Fast Fit, exclusively at C&R. It seems to me like all you hear supermarkets talk about today are low prices. But low prices only mean something when they're on products that meet your standards. What sets Vons apart is that you can get the quality you want without paying extra for it. When you take advantage of all the ways we have to save, you can get Vons higher quality of meat, produce, friendly service, greater selection, and it doesn't cost you any more. To me, that's what makes Vons a better place to shop and to save. Yo, man. You're the kind of guy who likes to wine and dine women? Yeah, I think it's real important. You gotta take take the woman out, and, and I try and make her feel like she's the only woman in the world at the time. Mm-hmm. Right, we asked the ladies about their dining experience with you, their dinner with uh, Peter, and here's what they said. One of the ladies said, we fed each other by candlelight. <laughs> Which could cause second-degree burns, actually. Uh, second lady said, we danced in the moonlight. Third lady said, he let me lick his cone. <laughs> so all you gotta do is tell me who said what, Peter, and we'll give you a heart. All right, I'm gonna get one this time. Uh, he let me lick his cone was definitely Stephanie. Stephanie? Yes. There you go, your first time. Well, um, we went on the boardwalk in uh, Santa Monica the pier mm -hmm. and we after lunch we went and got some ice cream and of course I ate mine rather quickly <laughs> and so um, seeing that I was eyeing his he offered some of his That's it was really sweet I'm sweet that so way. yeah he let me look at phone I will keep going there we fed each other by candlelight or we danced in the moonlight we danced in the moonlight Virginia there you go. Is he a good dancer, Virginia? He's wonderful. Yeah? Uh, we were, um, he took me up on a picnic. He set up a, a picnic in the back of his truck and lit candles. And uh, it got pretty late. We were just talking. It was him and his dog and myself. And uh, he decided that instead of going to this club to two-step, that he would just turn on the radio real loud and we'd two-step in the back of his truck. So we did. Dancing in the back of the truck? That was yeah. sweet. That's pretty nice. Yeah. That sounds like nice. She a good dancer? Oh, yeah. Two good just, just move just right together. Good. 
<laughs> hey, Patrick, uh, you think women enjoy your company? Um, well, I think women, you know, some women enjoy my company. I think, you know, I, I relate to women pretty well emotionally speaking, and, uh, you know, I like the company of women, so, I mean, <laughs> I think that's a prerequisite. That's correct? only a plus, yeah. sure. All right, we asked the ladies if they had a good time when they were out with you, Patrick, and here's what they said. We made beautiful music together, said one lady. <laughs> Another lady said it was heaven on his Harley. <laughs> lady said, I spent the evening pulling buds and hair out of my mouth. <laughs> Sounds like a pretty enjoyable night to me. Sounds like a hell of a night to me, too. I wish I... Okay, anyhow, um, I was in heaven on his Harley. I think that would probably be Stephanie. Stephanie? No, oh, I'm afraid not. What did you say, Stephanie? I out. said I spent the evening pulling buds and hair out of my mouth. <laughs> But I, we were on his Harley, and it was a really good time, except it was really windy that night, and it happened to be that everything was blowing at us, <laughs> and it all was going in my mouth. I guess I should have kept my mouth shut, but <laughs> it was... All right, uh, who, who did say I was in heaven on his Harley? I did. Sherilyn, uh -huh. you like uh, motorcycles? I love motorcycles. You own one yourself? No, I don't. You like guys I like riding on the back, yeah. Where'd you guys go on the motorcycle? We drove up the coast, and watch the sunset and froze to death, but right. it was a beautiful ride. Yeah? We had a great a time. Cold. Okay. All right. Peter? Yo, man. You like to get romantic on a first date? Is that in the cards for you sometimes? If it's in the cards. You, you gotta feel, <laughs> feel your path along, creep through the bushes, and if everything is right, then yeah. You come into the clearing. Right. All right, we asked the ladies if there were any romantic sparks on your date, and here's what they said. One lady said it was being, like, back in high school. Second lady said it was the sweetest kiss I've ever had. Oh. And the third lady said, he mauled me! Oh. Yeah. Mauled it was like being back in high school was Sherilyn. Yes. Yeah, there you go! Yeah. Oh. What you to do, Sherilyn? <laughs> we drove up to Mulholland. We drove, drove up to Mulholland. Car or bike? Uh, in his car, okay. he had a, a 66 Firebird. 68. And, oh, I'm sorry. 68 <laughs> Firebird. Pristine. And um, it was in mint condition. We drove up to Mulholland and watched the, the little scene up there, and he kissed me, and it felt like I was back in high school doing it for the first time. Oh. Real romantic date up there in Mulholland? I guess so. Yeah. What'd you guys do? Yeah, the whole day? You just drove up there and... No, we went to dinner also. Uh-huh. And so dessert. And dessert. All right, well, uh, <laughs> it was the sweetest kiss I ever had, or he mauled me. He mauled me was Stephanie. <laughs> Stephanie? Yes. I yeah, what happened? Yeah, what, what happened? happened? Stephanie. Well, um, he didn't, it wasn't a maul where it was extreme, like he was ripping my clothes off or anything. <laughs> it was just, um, his, it, he didn't just kiss me, he, he kissed, kissed me, and it was a great kiss, and it lasted quite a long time. What's a kiss kiss? A kiss kiss is just more than a peck, and it lasts a longer time. But he... About how long? A few minutes. Yeah, good kiss? Yeah, Pretty romantic good. day? Yes, it was. It was very nice. Mm-hmm. Were you in a romantic mood, Peter? Oh, yeah. Yeah? We drank a lot. <laughs> well, that explains the romance, I guess, huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we drank a lot. All right. Patrick. Yeah. You think you have, your, have a way with women? I think I have a way with women. Well, you know, I, I think, you know, again, I like women. So emotionally speaking, yeah, I, I think, you know, I, I relate to women in, in a pretty, you know, pretty good way, actually. And they relate back to you. Well, let's hope. All right, we asked, we asked the ladies uh, about the romantic chemistry on your dates, and here's what they said. One lady said, we had to stop before things got too far. Ooh. Second lady said, he waited until morning to kiss me. Ooh. Third lady said, what we had was better than sex. Right. Uh, he waited until morning to kiss me, Virginia. There, this man. is like a DSAT, oh, oh, yeah. I'll tell you. Yes or no? No. <laughs> what a look. Well, that could have been. Oh, 
you know, okay, you're right. It was past midnight. It was morning, but no, right. no. What did you say, Virginia? No, I said what we had was better than sex. <laughs> well, and I guess, you know, a morning kiss for him, you know, I mean, I... The only thing I can think of that's better than sex would be... Great cable. But, uh... Oh, <laughs> great conversation. So, what did you guys do on your day? We went to Disneyland. And the happiest place on I, earth. I figured we couldn't go wrong there. So, uh -huh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we went to Disneyland and wound up closing the park, and... Um, you, Goofy, and Mickey, like, woo! Just absolutely zany. Uh -huh. Zany. And uh, then we, uh, we went back, and we were supposed to go to dinner. We were going to pick up his bike and go get bugs on our teeth, but we didn't. <laughs> we stayed and we talked until about 2 in the morning, just about... At everybody. Disneyland? No, at his, at his house. It was a nice romantic Yeah, it was, fun it was time. a very nice, very nice day. Well, who actually and did I, say uh, he waited until morning to kiss me? I did. Stephanie! That was my... I mean... <laughs> that was my you know, that was it my was because we, we started rather late because we both had a long day. And what'd you guys do? And um, we went out to dinner and went to the Roxbury and listened to Rhythm and Blues for a while. And we didn't leave until about 2. Went back to my place and talked until about 4 or 5. And, and he just... He was smart. He kissed. He waited a while to kiss me. Now, and do you like that one? It was just a nice one. It was mysterious. It kept me, like, guessing. He wasn't predictable, which now, I like. It, it took you that long to kiss her because you were nervous or because you were being smart? Well, you know, I mean... Uh, <laughs> I, I'm a prude, what can I say, you know? No, no, but I, actually, you know, I, I was being, you know, I, I just felt like, you know, there, what's the rush, you know? Especially with the way I look, you know? I mean, you got to sort of play it. I, I like to just, you know, back off, because generally I expect a long-haired fellow to be a little more of an animal. Sure. And, uh, so I figured, well... On a blind date, I'll... Be, be less of an ammo and yeah. more of a vegetable, perhaps. Well... <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right, we'll be, right, be steamed here. We'll be right back and find out which one of our studs is most likely to sweat <laughs> during sex after this break. This former cop got caught with his policeman's pants down when he traded in his nightstick for a night of selling his body. Is there anything particularly you're interested in doing? How do we do? Along with his call girl lover, Gordon Younger was running an escort service that offered more than police protection. But their romance went sour, and she set him up in a mastermind sting, the secret policeman's ball. That's a current affair tonight at 7.30 on Fox 11. Chevrolet and Chevrolet dealers have always stood for simple, honest value. That's why more people depend on Chevrolet than on any other car. And why you can depend on values like these. Now save $500 on a California legend, the 1991 Camaro. Get $500 factory cash back on a new Camaro RS Z28 coupe or convertible. Use the $500 toward the down payment or put it in your pocket. For honest value, see your Southern California Chevrolet and Geo dealer. With most guys, their favorite suit is the one they wear with sneakers. The high-level meetings they enjoy most take place in their driveway. And the country club they belong to has no official dress code. That's why there's Mervyn's. The store for all the comfortable, casual clothes you wear most at very comfortable prices. Mervyn's, for the clothes you love to live in. Because the last premiere you attended probably starred someone you know very well. Well, Jenny, four years ago, I lost 29 pounds on your program, and I've kept it off ever since. I just feel better about myself. Well, it it's shows. You look wonderful. Thank you. This is the first time in my life I've ever been able to control my weight. You have to do so much entertaining, and so you have to sure. learn some techniques. We've tried to yep. make our food look like the traditional food that people right. are accustomed to eating. Macaroni and cheese. Pasta. And turkey. Wait a minute, how about the turkey dinner? With it's all you want with our summer special. Just a $79 service fee. Call Jenny Craig. If you only got one heart, but don't worry, you can get some hearts here in this section. All what we've done now, we've talked to the ladies, we've got some descriptions of you two guys. All you got to do now is tell me who they're talking about, you or your co-stud. And we're going to start with you, Peter. Peter, who's most likely to be afraid of the dark? According to the ladies, you or Patrick? Uh, we were in the dark on all my dates. Patrick. Think so? Ladies? Peter! Ouch, Peter! Oh, why'd you say that, Sherilyn? Because he's just like a little boy. Sometimes you would just think that he would grab his teddy bear and sit in the dark. Aww. Were you afraid of the dark when you were a little kid? No. <laughs> hey, Patrick. Yeah. 
Who's most likely to be a Boy Scout troop leader, you or Peter? Peter, for sure. You think so? Not a doubt in my mind. Ladies! Peter. There you go! Hard for Patrick! Why did you say that, Virginia? Well, all you have to do is take a look at the shoes, and uh, it looks like he's ready for hiking already. And I could see him with a little uniform and a hat and going out with the kids in the woods. I could see that. <laughs> sure. Hey, Peter, who? Who is most likely to wear polyester? You or Patrick? Patrick. Ladies? Patrick. Ow! There you go. I have no problem with polyester. Why'd you say that, Sherilyn? Um, he showed a couple of us a, a video of uh, a guy who was in polyester, and I could just see him wearing it and making fun of it. And it would be hysterical. Patrick! Uh -huh. Who's most likely to get a facial? You or Peter? I'd say me because of my long hair and, you know, maybe that effeminate sort of thing that goes with long hair. <laughs> Ladies! Patrick. Patrick, there you go. You get the zipper heart. Why'd you say that, Virginia? Well, Patrick's up for just about anything, and I could just imagine if I were going to get a facial, he'd say, hey, can I come too? And so, you know, it's no big deal. Yeah, but I love the makeup in the makeup room. I'm you ever, thinking about. Sorry. You ever had a uh, facial, Peter? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Hey, Peter, who do you think is more likely to sweat during sex, you or Patrick? Me. Definitely. Definitely me. Ladies? Peter. Peter, Peter there you go. <laughs> what makes you think that, Stephanie? Well, Peter is built very big, and you could just picture him working up. He's physical, and you can see him working up a sweat. Real... <laughs> Kind of like you're doing now. Yeah. <laughs> Patrick, yeah. who's most likely to go skinny dipping, you or Peter? Me. Think so? Yeah, I, I think so. OK. Ladies? Patrick. Patrick. There you go, Patrick. <laughs> Why would you say that, Stephanie? Well, Patrick is the type of guy who has no inhibitions at all. And I could just see him ripping his clothes off and jumping in the water. <laughs> Stick around. When we come back, we're going to find out which one of these guys is the bigger stud. Don't go away. Nothing's more important than getting my son ready for the big game. So when I'm coaching him, I always wear these. See, I need something that feels good when I'm chasing his line drives or reaching for his knuckle ball. Whoa! Nice pitch. Hey, when I'm this comfortable, nothing can keep me from taking this kid to the pros. Whoa! Good arm, guy! Cheetah, only at Mervyn's, for the clothes you love to live in. The Nissan 240SX is built for the driving enthusiast. Someone who appreciates immediate responsiveness. Someone who enjoys tremendous power. The kind of driver who knows what it's like to handle a true sports car. The Nissan 240SX. Driving one is like a whole new experience. Save now with factory-to-dealer incentives on the 240SX. Home Club's paint department is a stroke of genius. High-quality Pittsburgh paint in all the colors you love. And friendly paint experts to help you. They've even got an incredible machine that lets you see what your home looks like before you paint it. So if anyone tells you they've got a better paint department, or a better paint, give them the brush off. <laughs> home Club, no membership. Everyone gets our lowest prices. Lou Diamond Phillips is Mitchell Osgood to write the perfect thriller. Tell me that this is fiction. He entered the mind of a murderer. Help me get this nightmare behind me. Only now, he can't get out. What are you doing? It's too late. Ambition, rated R, starts this Friday at a theater near you. We are down to the nitty-gritty, Patrick and Peter. We're going to find out which one of you guys is the bigger stud. Now, uh, Patrick, you've got four hearts, right? Peter, you've got six. But don't worry, Patrick. Uh, anyone can win. It's double or nothing here. Very simple. All you got to do is tell me who you'd like to continue your romance with. If that same woman picks you, 
off on your ultimate fantasy date. We pay for okay. it. Well, I think, first off, Cheryl Lynn, I like. We, I related to her in, in an interesting way. We shared a lot of things in common, but I just I didn't get that feeling, number one. Virginia, we had such a nice time, and I think I'll know Virginia until the day I die, and I do sincerely mean that. Stephanie, you know, I, I think I'd like to continue on with Stephanie. Yes, All right, now, if, um, if Stephanie selects you, where are you guys going to go on your date? We're going to saddle up on the Harley right about sunset time, and we're going to take a little ride into the desert towards Las Vegas. And I'll see if I can't turn this $500 into about $5,000 and, uh, you know, roll the dice and, you know, maybe from there, you know, who knows? Maybe we won't come back to L.A. and just ride around the country all summer. Beautiful. Yeah. In All right, Peter. You're up. Same deal. You select a woman. If she selects you, you will be our stud of the day. Well, Cheryl and I, the gears just didn't mesh. Stephanie, again, things, things went great. God, I had such a great time. I couldn't believe it. Therefore, I had such a fantastic time with Virginia. If she'd go out with me, and I'd love to. Whoa. If she does go out with you again, where are you going to take her? This is how my plan goes. Okay. We're going to gas up the power wagon. We're going to gas up my bike, throw it in the back of the power wagon, get the dog. Head to Mexico, get one of those hotels right on the, the beach, right on the beach, and then just go at it from there. This sounds pretty exciting. All right. All right, now, Cheryl, I'm neither of the guys selected you, but... Would you show us who you pick before you go? Peter! Peter. All right. Okay, now, uh, Patrick, you selected Stephanie. Right. You select him. You could be off on a fabulous trip to Vegas in the desert on a bicycle <laughs> with a motor on it. Patrick and Aaron! Hi, <laughs> right, Virginia. It all boils down to you, Virginia. If you selected Peter, you're going... You're, you're going to go to Mexico on a fabulous curvy drive, and Patrick said he'd cook. If not, these two are going to go to Vegas. What's it going to be? Peter! If you'd like to be a guest on Studs, call us at 213-856-3400. Now, he's a former cop who ran an escort service that offered more than just police protection. On A Current Affair, next on Fox 11. I've got news for you about Jenny Craig. I lost 29 pounds and I've kept it off for over four years. Now you can join the Jenny Craig weight loss program for one low service fee. You'll get the help you need to lose all the weight you want. Personal counseling, lifestyle classes, activity plans. It's not an introductory offer. It's a real program. Lose all you want with our summer special. Just a $79 service fee. Call Jenny Craig. The time to call is now. This is where the legend began on rivers like the Gunnison and Colorado, when people came for the good times and discovered the beer. Brewed with all natural ingredients for a fresher, smoother, cleaner, more naturally refreshing taste. Today, the beer people used to travel miles to find is available almost everywhere, but it's still got that great fresh from the Rockies taste. Original Coors, the Rocky Mountain legend. What do you call a home that works with you to save energy? A welcome home with all the energy-saving extras designed right in. When builders work with Edison to create homes that exceed all state energy efficiency standards, this welcome home decal goes in the window. It's your assurance you'll be cozy and save money too. Not just energy, creative energy. Call Edison for welcome home locations near you. The beauty of a big Ford truck. You just fill it up, and you can go over 100 miles farther than a Chevy. He hates stopping for gas. A Ford cost less. It's cheaper to buy than a Chevy, and it's worth more when you trade it in. Not that you ever would. 
It's the best seller in California. Can we squeeze this in? Here's a little something to take the squeeze off your wallet. 